you. The phone's for you. Good morning, Otavio. Hi. Oh, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I should be out campaigning and uh, crouching in uh, people's closets ready to jump out at them and uh, steal their wallets. Redistributing their wallets. Right, yeah. Uh, we gotta subsidize those imaginary corn farms. Yes, uh, imaginary and uh, the fiction of our imagination, that's also part of it. Uh, it's a shell game, but I think uh, as a young person, you need to be part of this. Right, I think so too. Yeah. So I would recommend that perhaps you set your alarm clock for, for 4.30, mm -hmm. and you get up and you get energized, have a couple of those uh, red, red Bull drinks that give you wings, Yep, global warming hasn't got me yet. Okay, that's a, that's an important thing to understand. Global warming is, is uh, the biggest threat that we face in this country, besides Hillary Clinton. <laughs> that's uh, talking down Donald Trump, but okay, I see what you're see what uh, you're saying. Uh, Donald is, is, has his own issues with his hair and his women and uh, his television shows and all that stuff. He, he's a he's a non-entity at this point. <laughs> He and his moon bases. Yes, moon bases, moon faces, moon pies, moon, uh, less moon vets, all of the moons, the, the cycles of the moon, and that, that's a big problem we also face. Luna, uh, eclipse, and uh, things like that are uh, facing us with dangers that we don't even know about. I hear he's secretly a moon Nazi. Uh, yeah, that's one of my main hobbies. Okay, that's an important thing to keep the, the earth clean and free of leaves. And uh, pine needles, do you have pine needles in your area? Or do you have just uh, leafy trees like oaks and maples and elms and uh, uh, what else? Uh, weeping willows? Uh, I've never been a fan of trees that are referenced to be crying because I think it's a weakness. <laughs> yeah, we don't, uh, we don't get pine trees here after the, after the accident. Uh, we use a aluminum tree, actually. Um, well, we've been using the same one since 1888, but... Uh, well... Well, you know, you could say that it's a tradition, but that would be a bit of a euphemism. The thing is, we can't actually get rid of it. Every time we throw it out, it just shows up uh, two days later, slightly taller. And, uh, it's like a fruitcake. It, it, it goes away and then comes back again. I, exactly. I don't know, am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, it's a fruitcake, or, you know, a curse. Uh, and then, you know, Christmas Eve, it starts spitting blood. But, you know, I think that's just normal tree stuff. Oh yeah, 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 that, that's probably it. 